and met this gentleman, a professor. This gentleman told him that um, he knew why we were out. We wanted to get support and sympathy for Nigeria and to explain the federal cause to the international community. And he explained that um, the international community was not particularly interested in Nigeria as such. All that people were interested in were our resources. And he even went further to say, if we could get robots to exploit your resources for us to develop our economies, we wouldn't mind the whole lot of you being eliminated. But, he said, in the case of Nigeria, there is a difference. And the difference is that Nigerians are very hard-working and very intelligent. And they have got resources, most of which they know next to nothing about. If this country, Nigeria, with all these resources, both human and material, was to have an uninterrupted period of 20 years of peace and stability, it would be another Japan. Because these intelligent, hard-working Nigerians would come to know about their resources, they would use their intelligence and work hard and exploit those resources and develop their economy. A developing economy needs a market, he said. In our own case, you have no problem with the market. Your population is large enough to provide the market that you need. And even without that, the Nigerian market is the entire West African region and beyond. So you will have no problem with the market. Therefore, if you are given an uninterrupted period of 20 years of peace and stability, you would become another Japan, you would threaten our economy, you would be a thorn in our flesh. That was the view of this professor in 1967. And he therefore ended by saying that even after the Civil War, we will not allow you to rest. We will create one problem after another for you. Knowing this, therefore, I feel that in spite of our shortcomings, which I must admit we have, there is a kind of orchestrated campaign against Nigeria so that it may not emerge the economic giant that it is destined to.